Ruben Nero, better known as Papa Roo, is flying the red, white, and black amongst the stars and stripes, publishing, pushing rather, the boundaries of hip hop. In this Live for Local segment, Sherilyn Lewis tells us more about this talented artiste. In this Live for Local segment, we continue our discussion with Papa Roo, who called for greater recognition for artists and discussed his recent accolade, the U.S. Lifetime Achievement Award. Additionally, he also talked about his plans for the not-so-distant future. When you reach your 4,000 hours of, of service to the great, uh, for the U.S., um, you get recognized because of your um, service, all the speeches are done, all the concerts are done, all the, just to give back and, and you know, Papa Roo. keeping that positivity. It was presented to me when I was least expected. And when I tell you, when I got that thing, as a matter of fact, you know, I can show it on here? Yeah. Okay, okay, you do that. Let me see that. You know, hey, we're gonna show it right here to Ruben Nero, I wonder if you can see it. But while there's much to be proud of in terms of local achievements, Paparu contends that there is a psychological blanket of neglect woven into the minds of some people. We have a lot of people from Trinidad and Tobago that's been repping for us so hard. I'm talking about we got big respect in America mm -hmm. and our own don't even say nothing about us. In the same breath, he concurs that a greater effort needs to be willed in order to sensitize locals to talent. He says patriotic platforms are the key and loaded TTT for implementing them. The country of Trinidad and Tobago, believe it or not, it's my assignment. Yeah. And that, I believe it at that. And I know that it's my assignment. So, like I said, you know, we ain't gonna do nothing but going up. With what you're doing, what we're trying to do, mm -hmm. we, we, we definitely doing our part to elevate from where we've been. So, you know, hats off to you again, I'm telling you. Really enough, but what really about his enough. goals for hip hop and Caribbean music moving forward? I'm in the transition of getting everything set up in Tobago right now, I already started. I want, I'm we putting up a studio in Tobago right now. We've been back and forth online, you know, I've been putting everything together. So we already been conversating and uh, we pretty much have the right model for it. The whole, you know, so when you come, it's a one-stop shop, you know, you got the beach, you got the the fruit trees, you got, you know, we make it, when you come to Tobago to record, you're not trying to leave there. Like I'm a resort back to what I said from the beginning. Long as you stay grounded and you know your purpose, everything else, the universe, let the universe do what it does. Deservingly so, Paparu has earned his keep and is not done yet, as he intends to plant more seeds of talent in the Caribbean. I'm Charlene Lewis for TTT News, urging you to live for local.